right, during this project, I studied John Newton in the book Amazing Grace and John Newton. Um, I was interested in him because I heard a little bit about his testimony and how he was the writer of Amazing Grace, which I really like that song, and I'm sure many of you uh, do too. And I uh, just want to learn more about him. So I, he was born in London in 1725, and uh, he was a really smart kid during his childhood and uh, knew just a lot of stuff. He learned Latin and a couple other languages. And uh, his mom was kind of his inspiration during his childhood and throughout his life. But uh, she died when he was seven, and that really uh, made, uh, made him super sad. And his dad went and remarried, uh, and John Newton's new stepmom rejected him so that she could have uh, kids of her own with his dad. Um, so he was alone for a while until he met his uh, future wife, Mary Catlett, and uh, they got married later. But before that, uh, her dad wouldn't let him, uh, him marry her because he uh, wanted him to get a better income. And so he joined the uh, British slave trade to make more money, and he uh, worked his way up the ranks as slave ship hand, uh, first mate, and captain. And uh, he got heavily into sin, where he would uh, be known for drinking and cursing and uh, being very abusive to slave girls on the ship. And uh, he almost died several times during his many slave travels, one in particular where he would drink, uh, was drunk from a drinking contest and his hat fell off the boat and he was about to go and catch it when a, a hand pulled his shirt and got, uh, got, grabbed uh, his shirt and pulled him back and uh, so he just felt like God was always watching over him because his mom was a devout Christian and he was sort of a Christian on and off um, but so he just um, became more devout Christian after that and uh, so one time when he was back on land visiting with his new wife Mary uh, he was about to go on another slave travel on a boat called the Bee when uh, he felt too sick to go on the, sh uh, the trip um, and he couldn't go so the bo he later figured out that that same boat crashed in the middle of the ocean and uh, everyone on the boat died. Um, he uh, then became the pastor of the Olney Church where he wrote Amazing Grace and, which was in the Olney hymn book he wrote where he wrote 280 hymns, uh, 30 of uh, 30 of the other hymns were wrote by uh, his friend William Cowper. And uh, he then, after that, um, moved to London and became the pastor of the St. Mar Mary Woolnith Church. And uh, he got involved in the abolition of the slave trade uh, there in uh, Britain, which took 20 years to abolish. And um, he, uh, after he helped abolish that, um, he uh, got involved in the uh, Sierra Leone Company where they got a thousand slaves from Nova Scotia and brought them back to Africa where they had a settlement uh, pre-built for them to live there so they could be in the country they were originally taken from. Um, uh, during some of the last years of his life, his Mar uh, wife Mary, who was always sick during their relationship, died, uh, finally died of cancer. And uh, some of his last words were, even though my memory is fading, these two things are remembered, that I'm a great sinner and God is a great savior. Uh, and his last recorded words were, more light, more love, more liberty. And uh, he died in 1807 while he was 82 years old. And he had a major influence on society because he wrote Amazing Grace, which uh, just kind of told about how you know, his uh, travels uh, as a slave ship captain. And he wrote the only hymn book where he wrote 208 hymns. And he uh, was a super devout Christian, teaching people about Christ while he was a pastor. And uh, my takeaway was, like, no matter how uh, badly we sin and no matter what we do, that God's uh, grace and Jesus' death on the cross covers that for us. And I don't really recommend the book because it's pretty much a couple words from the author and the rest is just quotes by him or some other people. But uh, if you really want to learn about it, I guess you can, but I didn't really like it that much. But I like learning about him in general, so any questions?